Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego it and looks sense so of princely modern. entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. What's up guys and welcome back to Dishonored 2. I just left that in again because uh, we saw that in the at the end of the last video. This is my last night. Soon I'll into the great nothing. You should be at peace. I stay too long. Find a lie spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Uh, sorry. So it was at the end of the last video, but if you're anything like me, you would have forgotten. And I already forgot, so I needed to refresh myself. I'm assuming from that little snippet, we are gonna have to get Delilah's soul from wherever she is from the statue. No, but that statue was at, was with Brianna Ashworth. So we're gonna take the soul out of the body that she's in and probably put it in our mother's body. It sounds like it. All right, we have a journal to read. As always, starting with our, oh, we've got two. Oh, uh, I don't think we finished. I think they added more. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I left Ash was stripped of Delilah's magic, but cut from, but cut off from the energies of the void. I hope that I, uh, I oh my God, I can't read today. I hope that I, that sends a message all the way to Dunwall. I'm coming to stop you, Delilah, and it won't matter how powerful a witch you are. I also learned that Ash had organized some kind of seance for Delilah three years ago. I'm getting close to understanding Delilah's immortality, and for that I need to explore every time. I need to explore the abandoned manor of a certain mine baron, Aramis Thornton. Okay, okay, I think we read that. Megan Foster. So I found out Megan Foster worked for Ashworth many years ago. We did? I think Megan knows more than she's saying what is she'll... Oh, wait, I think we did read this. Sometimes she won't meet my eyes, even when she smiles, she looks sad, blah, 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 blah. I can't sleep. I try not to think about my father too much. I'm worried, sick. I hope Corvo's going to be all right. I hope he can't feel the days and weeks passing, not knowing that I am alive and coming for him. 15 years ago, he was the one to rescue me. We spent our days hidden in the Hound Pits pub, and I thought I would never see Dunwall Tower again. I remember I was almost happy about it, thinking we would live a life of adventures. I think it helped me deal with my mother's death as if it wasn't real. It was another life. Uh, the Grand Palace. The Dust District. Why? Okay, whatever. I heard stories about the dust district. Now I've seen it for myself and breathed the polluted air. I'd still be coughing if it weren't for Megan's fermented shark broth. Ugh. Even if it tastes like something she dredged up out of the sewers. In the dust district, I could have sided with Paolo or Vice Overseer Burn. Byron or Burn. Choose one evil over another, but that could have had unforeseen consequences. So I rejected the setup and found my own solution. I wonder how differently it would have changed the story if you chose one or the other. Mm, copy. Today I saw the effects of the void leaking into Aramis Stilton's house through cracks in reality. I was able to see the past and the present simultaneously. I learned a great deal looking into the night of the Duke's gathering three years past. I watched a seance that brought Delilah's spirit from the void where she was trap and into this world i saw that spirit persevere in an effigy made of bone by the witch brianna ashworth and that effigy holding delilah's spirit was given to duke abel for safekeeping oh okay now i know why delilah cannot be killed as long as she's not whole she remains immortal just like 
um, Voldemort. Even the outsiders seem worried. Uh, this is the information I've been seeking. Now I just have to turn it into a plan. Have I not been collecting things that need to go in here? That would be cool if you collect things along the mission that fit in the slot. But maybe I've just been so bad. Let's not muck around. I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to go after the Duke. Another aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Paolo. I hope Paolo can bring some kind of justice to Karnaka. I hope the Vice Overseer will bring order to Karnaka. Is that what Paolo is trying to do? Bring what? Justice. Duke of Bell uses a body devil. Duke of Bell spared no expense on his new palace. That's where we're going. It's tacky if you ask me. Look for the palace vault. Oh, he's drawing us now. Oh, they're upstairs. Hey, raddies. What's up? Raddy teddies. At least I think they're upstairs. Yes, the deck. <clears throat> castles and a hundred mansions and they're the same everywhere the duke's palace can't be anything worse than lady brisby's social afternoons taking down duke abel is only part of the puzzle you've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for delilah you were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the dust district which is fine the world is better with a hint of mystery. <laughs> but once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. Okay. That's... Okay, the audio is not so great in this game. All right, so obviously my choices in this mission is gonna have long-term effects. Does it look better? Look the same? I don't know. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. <sighs> don't say stuff like that. Honestly, the thought, nowadays the thoughts of aging really freaks me out. Like just reevaluating life. I think the older I get, the more contemplative of aging I get. Does that make sense? Like I think about aging a lot more than I used to because now I'm getting, up, getting along. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, need to start taking. Should we head toward the palace? You know, like health and exercise more seriously. <laughs> right, let's go. Again, I digress. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker. What's that noise? Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. Who does the linens? What a okay. shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Maybe. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. Maybe they're he's a tyrant army, themselves as well. control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. 
There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know oh. you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Okay. Um The Duke's body double. Megan Foster has a friend who sometimes works at the Grand Palace. Allegedly the Duke's body double is a smoker and is much nicer than Duke himself. Objectors, find a way to the Grand Palace. Alright. Are we in hostile territory? I assume so. Let's see how many things there are. One, two, three, four. So it's these four. Okay, it's these four, and it's all on this side. Ten, uh, 101, 180, 149, 95. So maybe if we go for that one first. Oh no! I keep pushing the wrong buttons. Let's go with this guy. Well, actually. Oh, what's through here? Just stuff to pick up. Oh. No, I don't need to eat anything. Okay, nothing. Nice. I don't like this version of the Void Gaze. <clears throat> I think it's called boy gaze. I prefer stuff comes in. It's gotta get where it's going. That's why they call it the black market. Can't just sit here. There's too much chance a grand guard catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners come and not pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Are you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend. The shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over Cole. So there's basically no risk. Okay. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. Okay, and it's a black market. Stock workers, smugglers are waiting at their boat to deliver contraband to a nearby black market shop. The captain went ahead to arrange for delivery. There's something on the ship. the key. Hey. Oh, hello. I've got one stinging bolt. Oh, I've got... 
actually. You start any shit around here, we're jumping in. <gasps> oh, okay. But he could be the guy with the key. Okay, so... Jeepers Creepers. I make a lot of noise. Jeepers Creepers. Where you get those peepers? Okay, what is going on with this game? Oh my god! Fuck's sakes. Absolutely fuck's sakes. Tula, 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 tula. Coin. I don't want no coin. Is the captain the one with the key? Oh, can I just talk? Don't pick any fights you can't finish. Okay. I can't sneak up to you. Maybe I come back to get it later? That guy probably doesn't have the key either. I think the cap... Oh, I got you. So... We need to... We basically need to go find the black market. Because the captain has the key. And then we pickpocket the captain. That's what we do. And then... And then we come back. Look at this place. Hey! Hey, what? I want it! Watch yourself. I want your money! So you can't pickpocket when they become aware. Oh, loud above! When they become aware of you. Okay, I gotta stop fucking around. This music makes me feel like I'm in a old Chinese movie. Old Asian movie. Um Three ridiculous decrees a week. I never thought this would actually happen. Well, it has. Now let us work. I have absolutely no idea. A safe door. Use. Oh, black market. Hell yeah. Up here somewhere. You. What is this structure? A tree? Whoa! Oh, hell! Can I check on top of this thing? Fuck! Fuck, they do it. 
What is it that's looking at me? There's all these turbines. We need to switch them off. Oh, I think it's the watchtower. Note to Lucia Pasta's mother. Oh yeah, we met, well, we came across a note to Lucia before Lucia was supposed to... Can't remember. Mother, please don't be angry and hear me out. I know it's you who's been coming to my apartment to straighten up. I'm sure you mean well, but please stop anyway. I've made my mind to move to the dust district. The way I can be closer to those I'm helping for other reasons too that I won't mention now because of how it might upset you. Anyways, it's unlikely I'll ever return to the palace district. I'll have someone sell my apartment here along with the furniture. I know this isn't what you wanted for me, but it's who I am and I don't waste any more of your time. Um, oh, time matchmaking. I do not wish to marry. None of this is meant to make you feel badly. Please try to understand. Okay, so Lucia used to live here. Uh, get the clankers off Kanaka Street. B. Uh, uh, beware a strange sound like the clanking of a factory machine. You might be seconds from an encounter with the latest work of our grand inventor, Kieran Jindosh. Jindosh. And what should we think of these new marvels of industry, coveted by the wealthiest members of Karnakan society and standing vigil over their estates? I will tell you, these clockwork soldiers are a danger to us all, taking lives uh, with all the morality of a shopkeeper's and machine, like a calculator. They fight for days without rest as long as the as long as the whale oil tanks hidden in their backs don't run dry. Tyranny awaits unless we act now and re-establish the lawful society established by the former Duke of Sirkonos. Twice the leader, ha uh, the leader is indolent, irresponsible. Twice the leader, his indolent, irresponsible son, has proven to be citizens of Karnaka fight to get the clankers off our streets. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, first things first, we need to take out that, we need to take that windmill out. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this, watch, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, this one's a risky bitch. Actually, all of them are risky bitches. I'm going to have to go through this building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see where this light goes. I don't, does it reach up here? Let's save. It's coming.
more colors in, but it takes too much time. Just a washroom. I'll walk some among us. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Oh, it's another way to get across. Okay, cool. Oh, I forget like these oh shit. I forget these doors are breakable. They just obviously make noise. Breakable door locked. So can I just how do I break the door? Oh, I would have to grenade it, maybe. Grenade it, blow it up. Hate it. And this just goes downstairs. I think there's a downstairs and a d upstairs. Probably up and downstairs. Oh, oh my gosh! Can I just stop? Okay, so I can either go. Three musical duos across the Kanaka and listen to the songs. I did. I don't think I did. Okay. Okay, I don't think there's a reason to come down. I just hear really strange noises. Oh, this music. You see another one that's closest to me? Oh, this one. I've gone past it. Okay, so maybe. Oh! Alison, I'm taking some hagfish broth to my cousin who's been coughing badly for two days. If you need to spend the night here, you already have your own key and you know you're always welcome. Please be a dear. Don't put your muddy boots on the bed. Petronella with a spoon. So the cousin Alison has a key. Um, right. How did I get here? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I wanted to go back here. See this bone charm. Okay, I have to wait for this light. <gasps> there is no such permit. I don't trust it. Skelter. Fading lights. 
I need to make more bone charms. <laughs> that won't take me a while. Okay, that was a bit awkward. Uh, fading light, far reach and blink consume, no mana. <gasps> if used within a second of an assassination. But I'm not assassinating people. Fleet fighter. Back. Do I have fleet fighter? Oh. Okay, sometime I'm gonna have some I'm gonna have to take some time to use these bone charms more effectively because uh, I'm not doing so at the moment. I haven't even checked how many runes I have. I think the black marker could be somewhere in here. Alright. Let's go down here. Remember to close the gate behind you after each delivery. If you need the code, speak to me directly or to Carlos Marletto at Winslow... Winslow... Caf uh, Winslow Safe Company next door. Okay. I need to go next door for the code. See? See? I told you! Oh, for if sakes! Are you freaking kidding me? Uh. Silenzo! But you've got cash on you. If I jump down here silently. Okay, so this should be. A piece of paper. Some information to read. Somewhere. Hello there. You find yourself in the most reputable safe shop in Karnaka. I'm not supposed to say so, but the Duke's cousin got his safes here. Who needs more than one safe, you might wonder? Well, in this world, either you don't need a safe, or you need several. That's how it is. I can't talk to you more. Okay. He honestly freaked me out. The gate to the black mark shop is locked. A code is required to open. The owner and his brother know the code. Okay, so do I just speak to you more? I thought there would be a piece of paper lying around. But that's not an area for customers. Sorry. Oh! 
Gateco, dear brother, are you serious? How are you able to run a safe and vault business if you can't even remember a simple three-digit combination? I said the back alley gate code to your birthday and you thought it was your wedding anniversary. I said it to your wedding anniversary and you thought it was grandfather's age. I said it to grandfather's age and you thought it was master's uh, mother's secret address. What kind of advice are you giving to your customers for their combinations? I wonder... It's a miracle anybody in the city manages to open one of your safes again after locking them. Anyway, since you leave me no choice, uh, there's the gate combination written in colored ink, which isn't cheap. One, three, two. Bring the notes with you when you come to my shop. I'll make sure it gets burnt. And no, I won't leave the gate open. I can't risk having curious peek inside my little business. Ricardo! Okay. One, three, two. Sweet. Um, okay. Not breaking anything, please. I haven't open up. I cast the code for it reads back on the phone. No exceptions. Either you have the code or I assume something's off. My boss's orders. Damn it, open the store. You know I won't do this. You're wasting time. Pickpocket. Talk. Oh my gosh, talk. If, 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 if. Oh, wait. It's like Wache Pikinet. What happened? Never can get used to the heat here or the dust. So many scares. Stand out. Might want to keep a low profile around the law. Mm hmm. Wait, is it because I didn't. This combination to the alligator, don't forget the password either, or I won't open the back door. Next time. Dock your boat in a different place. You've started to attract unwanted attention. The Grand God have doubled the patrol since. Okay, what is the password? So this is obviously the back door. Don't do nothing. Don't know the password. What? Oh, we don't know the password. Where do we find such password? Well, what is the password? So we need to. Come on, you bastards! Oh, no, no, you bastards! Go rob the ship. Come back. Where the heck are we? Pawn shop. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just exploring where how this whole maze is connected to each other. Okay, okay. Oh, hello. You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. 
An altar? I don't go there anymore. But you might want to check it out. Maybe it's an altar he's speaking of. No one's here. Is it they're asleep? Dead! <gasps> How? What happened? I mean, it wasn't me. What the is, man? Oh! No! They got raided? Confiscated. <gasps> To the operator of this vessel, this is an official this is official notification that your cargo has been seized by the Grand Guard for failure to pay the docking tariffs and other fines you owe. If you come up with the coin, you'll find my associate and me in an apartment just before the Wall of Light checkpoint on the way to the Grand Palace. Look for the target mannequins on the balcony. Okay. Better hurry though. After a period of few of a few days, your goods will be sold to cover your expenses. Oh. Okay. So this was all meant to happen. It wasn't like a time thing where I ran out of time. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for this video. In the next one, we will go back oh no we can't go back to the to the um, black market because we don't have the, the, the password yet so what we'll do is go to the apartment for the wall of light to get the cargo and then find a way to get the password or find the front entrance of black market and then we need to switch off the windmill thing because that light is going to piss me off a lot. And I know if I don't do that, I'm not going to enjoy this mission. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.